Good morning! Welcome to my vlog. Today's video is all about prescriptive grammar rules. So, I'll be teaching you what are the prescriptive grammar rules. So, let's start. Before we start to the rules, let's discuss first what is prescriptive grammar. So, prescriptive grammar is also called normative grammar. Unlike descriptive grammar, normative grammar refers to a set of rules governing how language should or should be used, or rather than describing how language is used. Let's start to the rules. So the first grammar rule is run-on sentences. It is also called a few sentence. It has at least two independent clauses, but do not properly connected or nor divided into sentences. For example, I love to write papers. I would write one day if I had a time. The example shown is that they are not connected properly. How to avoid these sentences, these few sentences? To avoid it, breaking a long sentences into two or more sentences using comma or like that the next rule is sentence fragments sentence fragments are unconnected sentences these are sentences that has been disconnected from independent clause for example because of the rain um, it leaves us wondering what happened because of the rain a sentence that is that is missing either the subject or the main verb. It looks like a sentence but actually isn't a complete sentence. How to correct a sentence fragment? So, removing the period that separates the fragment and the main clause. Adding or kinds of punctuations that may be needed for a newly created sentences. Also, one of the prescriptive grammar rule is subject-verb agreement. So what is subject-verb agreement? Subjects and verb must agree with one another. It's either singular or plural. Thus, if the subject is singular, use a singular verb. If the subject is plural, use a plural verb. For example, Jennifer walked to the store. So Jennifer is the subject, which is singular, and walk is a verb, which is also a singular. The next prescriptive grammar rule is pronoun antecedent agreement. So antecedent is derived from the word ante, which means before. It is a word which the pronoun stands, thus the pronoun must agree with its antecedent in number. For example, Chelsea finished her presentation. So, Chelsea is the antecedent and her is the pronoun. The next rule is plural possessive. Strauss 2020 explained that the addition of S at the end of the word is because of two important reasons. The first one is to make the, a word plural and to show possession. So, most plural nouns are made possessive by adding an apostrophe into the word. But, possessive pronouns do not have apostrophes. For example, yours, hers, its, ours. So, this is the last rule of prescriptive grammar, the capitalization rule. This rule is, um, is about to capitalize the first word of the sentence. Be sure to capitalize proper names and proper nouns. Capitalize titles, um, capitalize major words in the titles of books, um, direction, and also capitalize countries, historical period, and names of national, political, racial, social, civic, and athletic groups.